Welcome to another MaxQDA video tutorial in which you will learn about coding audio and video files directly and without prior transcription. This will come in handy when you want to save time or when you work on very complex audiovisual contents that are difficult to sum up elsewise. To import my video file, I open the context menu of the document folder via right click and select Import Document. The multimedia browser automatically opens and shows my video. We can enlarge it, as we don't need the document browser or the retrieved segments window right now. I can use the timeline to navigate back and forth in the video. And I can use these little buttons here to scale the timeline up or down. This button here will prepare a bar with preview thumbnails on top of the video timeline. I start the video by pressing play or F4. The video, which you can see here, shows a friend's summer dinner, but it's edited in a very aesthetic and appealing way. As a researcher, I might be interested in finding out which elements the video focuses on, as this tells me something about food culture. So let's say, for example, this part of the video catches my attention, and I would like to add the code Fresh Herbs. To do so, I create a new code called Fresh Herbs in the code system and assign it the color green. Just as I would usually select a section in a text to code it, I can select a section of my video with my cursor. The section is then highlighted in blue color and I can either drag and drop it onto the code or drag and drop the code onto the marked section. We can now see a coding strip with the matching code color and name directly below the timeline. Now I take another look at my coded video segment. I may notice that my marking was not precise enough. To correct this, I simply drag the corners of the marked area to the left or right. Afterwards, I right-click the coding and choose Recode with Highlighted Segment. If you want to make sure that a certain segment is marked precisely from the beginning, MaxQDA provides you with another option. I am now deleting the last coding to demonstrate it. So I get back to the beginning of the section I want to mark and press Set Clip Start. I then press Play and wait for the end of the section to press Pause and Set Clip End. The section is then highlighted in blue color and I can either drag and drop it onto the code or drag and drop the code onto the marked section. Now let's look ahead to see how we can make use of the direct video coding strategy in our project. As you can see I coded a few more sections of our video in the meantime. The codings are displayed below each other, here, underneath the horizontal timeline, whilst they are only shown as colors on the timeline. If several codes have been assigned to one section their colors on the timeline will be mixed. If you want to get an overview of individual topics, you basically proceed in the same way you would with text files. First, we rearrange the multimedia browser in order to see the retrieved segments window on the right again. In this case, it is still empty, of course. We now activate all codes in the code system that we want to have a closer look at. Then we activate all relevant documents, in our case only the one video. You can see now that the retrieved segments window fills up with content. Here we see the small info boxes and the preview window for each segment right next to it. In our example, the window contains a list of all segments from the video that were assigned at least one of the activated codes. When I click the info box next to a coded segment, the multimedia browser automatically jumps to that section of the video and plays it. This way I can easily watch and compare similar codes in one or more videos or other data formats. And that's already everything you need to know about direct coding of video files. In case you want to work on an interview or other audio recordings, the same method works for audio files as well. Of course you won't get a video then, but you can code the timeline of an audio file in exactly the same way. 